city. But instead we got a mayor of this city who was caving into political correctness and the new world, the new word of wokeness has taken over the whole of the Western world. We have moved into a time of absolute insanity the last three years. Funny enough, something else has happened the last three years too. It's funny that the journalists in New Zealand and across the Western world, female journalists, will support a woman with a penis, or so I say, a man with a penis, so that I got it wrong. A woman with a penis over a natural born woman. How can they do that? These people are insane. It's, it's absolutely crazy. I've prepared nothing, as you can tell, but that's normal for me. We have, we've got a Prime Minister in this country that can't even define a woman. He was caught out by Sean Plunkett only a week or so ago. And it went viral all around the world. Can you hear me? It went viral all around the world, where he couldn't even define a woman. And it's not just here. The leader of the Labour Party in the UK did exactly the same thing. They're terrified of defining a woman, and how do we get here? How do we get to these politicians, supposedly intelligent, educated people who are, have been supposedly elected, I think, selected, to rule over us and destroy Western society? And this is all part of it. All part of it. And women, women are being targeted now. The four of these hands are men, the emasculated men. Most young men in the work world now are emasculated. How many young people here today, young men, hardly any? But now they're coming for our women. Women are our nurturers. They nurture our children. And men are our protectors. So the emasculated men and now they're coming for the, for the women. And what they're going to come for next is the children. And they are, they're coming into our schools. Men dressed as women in frocks. Into our schools. And this is being driven by the media. And if you're against it, the media will come after you. They will destroy you, the police will arrest you if you complain about that. 20 years ago, it wasn't, it wasn't like this. Just 20, maybe even 10 years ago. It's crazy, absolutely crazy that like these Men can go into libraries, into schools, dressed as women, get all their tasks allowed, do these productive dances, and sometimes the parents, including women, are there supporting this. What on earth is wrong? How did we get to that? It wasn't like that 10 years ago. It's all by design to destroy us, to destroy Western society, because this is only happening in the West. This is only happening here in New Zealand, Canada, UK, Australia, France, Europe, United States. It's only happening there and it's all by design. There's eight and a half billion people, roughly thereabouts, I haven't counted them myself, on the planet. Eight and a half billion, and not one of them was born of a man. Not one of them. A man had a small part to play. Mm -hmm. oh. A man had a small part to play, but it was a woman who born a child, it was a woman that born eight and a half billion of us in, on the planet. They brought us all into the world. But now, we can't even say that. How crazy is that we can't even say that? If we say that we're transphobic, we're being told now that Women with penises can have babies. Women with penises yeah. cannot have babies. <laughs> if they can, please show me how they get impregnated. No, don't do that. <laughs> and show me how they can ha actually have babies, deliver the babies. It's impossible. But we're being told otherwise. And if you don't follow the script, and you're a politician, somebody in power, a CEO, a manager, middle manager in a corporation, even a private company. I'll tell you what, your career is going to be affected.
You have to follow the narrative of this absolute ins insanity, stupidity, satanic inversion, because that's what this is. Up is down, down is up, black is white, white is black, good is bad, bad is good. It's just, that's where we are. That's where the Western world is. Crazy, absolutely crazy. And if you're against it, if you've got an ounce of common sense, like all we have here, you're branded as a lunatic, as an extremist, like that lady that just walked past. Carl Bromley was saying much the same as what I'm saying, although more eloquently. And she turns round and says bullshit. Which part was bullshit? What's wrong with her? She looked like a woman to me. You can't tell nowadays. But she looked like a woman. How can she support this narrative? This insanity? Well, they do. She's probably a journalist for stuff. But that's what they do. Journalists, politicians, females and males around the world are supporting Women with penises over natural born women. And that is wrong. And we've got to stop it. Look how many people are here. Look how many people. There should be thousands here. There should be thousands. But instead there isn't. Because there's a fear factor. And what happened just a couple of weeks ago in Auckland with Posey Parker, when these people, again, Women with penises come along and their supporters, you have to say it, the far left lunatic fringe of Antifa and all them, they all come along, they support anything that's anti us. Sorry. And anything that's pro globalist, pro government, pro Jacinda or the man let himself Hipkins. <laughs> they will support anything that's against nature. It's crazy. But well, she was attacked, that lady, and the media of New Zealand, the media, Channel 3, TVNZ, Radio New Zealand, for a whole week drummed up the hatred of Posey Parker. Saying, they weren't saying she was a pro-woman activist. They were saying she was an anti-trans activist who had the support from, dare I say it, neo-Nazis. And I seen the footage from Melbourne where she gave a speech in Melbourne and apparently there were neo-Nazis and you can tell. Anybody with half a brain can tell they weren't neo-Nazis. They were Antifa. They were covering their faces doing the salutes. But it was convenient for the media. It was convenient for the politicians. Convenient for the globalists to destroy. Her reputation before she came to New Zealand. Hipkins, the manlet, he said her views were repugnant, loathsome. And when he was asked why, he couldn't answer it. Couldn't answer it. Couldn't answer why. Why are her views repugnant when she's standing up for natural born women? Women who can have babies, women who have ovaries, women who are ovulate. Women who use tampons. She's standing up for their rights. And apparently now in our politics, in our media, that's repugnant. It's a crazy world we live in. And I guarantee you there'll be a journalist out there somewhere who reports Carl, report on me, report on Lincoln and whoever comes next. And they're going to call us. They're going to call us names. They're going to call us some kind of dangerous activists. And why? Because we're speaking common sense. Yeah, right. Nadine Porter, who wrote a hit job on Lincoln recently. Lincoln Ross over there. She's wrote hit pieces about me. She supports, she supports the destruction, the destruction of women. Women with penises, again, over natural born women. She supports that. She'd rather give them the rights and destroy people.
people's reputations for telling the truth. And that's what they do. And Nadine Porter and many others, probably, what's her name, the leader of the New Zealand's version of the MI5. I, I, I'm not sure if it's a woman or a man, I can't tell. But even she'd be the same. Just in the return, she wouldn't be able to define a woman because they're too scared to. So where is, where, where's the memo coming from? Where's it coming from? Somebody is telling them to drive this narrative. Somebody is telling them. Because otherwise they just say it, wouldn't they? They would just, they would just say it. Any politician, any up and coming politician that states the fact of a, and it is a fact, believe it or not, a woman is an adult female. That's all it is. It's as easy as that. But if they state that, they know their careers will be finished. So someone is controlling this. And I don't believe it is this tiny fraction of our population, this trans community. I don't believe that. I think it's something much more sinister and something much more powerful that uses them as a, I don't know, a club to beat us all with. But it's something else. And dare I say it, I've said it many times on my YouTube channel. It probably comes from Europe, the WEF, George Soros, whatever, just to sow chaos. Sow chaos and make us all insane. Because we, well not we here, but most of the people out there that watch the news every night and believe everything they see on it. Yeah. All these news readers believe everything. Honestly, these people are insane. But they don't even know they're insane and they think we're insane instead. Anyway, I think, and I think I've said enough. My name's Lee Williams, Cross Rubicon, follow me on my channel. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. And hopefully next time, we have thousands here because we need thousands here. Because the only way we can change this is to get thousands and thousands of people yeah. here to support what we're trying to achieve. A woman is an adult. Female! Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.